That's my grandfather, Michael Houston. We call him Big Papa. <laughs> so. Michael Houston, Big Papa, was born to Jane Stevenson, a slave, in February 1863. Following the Civil War and by way of Stockton, Alabama, Michael Houston settled on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay and worked as a farmer, a caretaker, and then eventually an entrepreneur. He made his own luck. Many of Michael's descendants now live in Houstonville, a community within South Fairhope. Michael Houston's granddaughter, Helen Nichols, is living her 100th year of life at her home in Houstonville. Well, my name is Helen Nichols, and Mike Houston is my grandfather. And Your mother's name was? was Estella. Estella, and then she married Albert Weeks, a picture over there. And my grandfather gave them land up in this area. And Big Papa's big house was a little further back that, that way too. And then right down the street, this uh, slave owners had given him this big two-storied house to take care of his family. In 1819, Sylvester Festerazzi was born near Lake Como, Italy, and came to Mobile in 1854. He served as a captain in the Confederate Army during the Civil War. He opened several coffee saloons in Mobile, one located on the corner of Dolphin and St. Emmanuel Streets. He bought the green coffee beans from Argentina, parched and ground them and brewed the coffee himself. He made a fortune. In 1884, Sylvester and his wife, Marguerite, purchased land in Point Clear, Alabama, and one year later built a summer house typical of most bay houses of that day with a long front porch that overlooked Mobile Bay. They had a pier and a bathhouse where the family enjoyed fishing, crabbing, swimming, sailing, and most of all, those delightful evening summer breezes. Captain Festerazzi hired a man to maintain the property and do chores around the house and garden and take care of the livestock. Behind the main house, the Festerazzi's built a smaller house strictly for the use of that man, their faithful caretaker, Michael Houston. After Michael left the Festerazzi's place, he became well known for his horse and wagon grocery store. Most everyone on the bay, including the beach people, bought groceries from Michael and his wife, Amanda, Mandy. <laughs> 